Welcome to Rainbow Six Siege Mythbusters. So we're going to go through a lot of the most popular myths out there and we're going to bust and confirm some. So we're going to start with the glass on a shield. So most people think that you can smash the glass and shoot the guy inside. Whereas in fact, that may not be the case. So we've got Pyrite's help in here and he's hit me with a full auto shotgun right to the glass and it stays intact. Now we get the big guns and we get the turret. And Pirates now puts a lot of rounds into the grass and you can see he's being very accurate he's just doing little bursts making sure everyone's hitting the glass and the glass is incredibly resilient like it only gets a certain amount of bullet holes in it and then that's it it doesn't go any further you can never like get completely blind from it and as you can see it's not smashing the guy behind the shield is completely protected so if you want to kill a guy with a shield you have to go around them so that one is busted. So the myth here is do grenades actually send out individual fragmentations? Like real grenades in real the real world. And it appears so. So we've got a bit of castle defense here. I've thrown a grenade through it, and we can see two distinct holes that have been created. Now if you hit um the castle barricade with shotgun rounds, machine gun rounds it will not damage. So grenade fragmentations are extremely powerful. And here we go, I'm detonating on top of the pool table and you can see there's a distinct pattern of this kind of circle that the fragmentations seem to come out in. And you can see that one went right through there. That door is, is, is the one I came in. They don't appear to bust open windows particularly much, but uh, still quite impressive. Yeah, it busted right through that wall. I can't see where it landed on the other side. But yeah, it surprises that it took out the hole. Yeah, the hole in the ground got blown up by it and the grenade wasn't close to it at all. So those individual fragmentations are a lot like bullets, but far more powerful. Now you'll see what I mean when we actually have a look underneath. Because I get a bit of a shock when I come down here and I'm like, holy crap. So you can see it has really punched a lot of holes underneath. A lot of damage. It's quite something. So grenades do actually have individual fragmentations. Maybe not uh, many fragments, but still a considerable amount that can definitely do you damage if you get in their way. And will definitely punch holes in walls. And I'm kind of surprised how much damage they actually do to the floor below. Like, to be honest, it maybe even seems like they do more damage to the floor below. So I set another one up for good measure. And you can see that the pattern doesn't appear to change much dramatically. It stays pretty much in the same place. So that's confirmed. Next up. Will an EMP grenade disable your laser sight? And that little bit of advantage that the laser sight gives to your your uh, attack. So you can see that laser's gone. If you watch the reticle, it'll shrink back down when the laser comes back online. Right there. So it does actually help amazingly. So that one's confirmed. So this one is probably one that most people might know already. But... I'm sure there's a few you don't know, and that is that you can actually shoot thermite charge before it goes off. And it's very handy if you're inside, because you can actually see, from this point of view, you can easily see it being detonated. So it's very easy to shoot it if you're quick. Now you can't do that on reinforced walls, but it might stop thermite getting through a wall that you haven't reinforced. So this one I think is very interesting. So the player guns as you'll see right now, they can't be shot. So it doesn't damage the player, it doesn't damage the weapon. The bullets go straight through like there's nothing there. And I think that's quite interesting. Interestingly enough, it's the same with the sidearm when it's holstered. So I can actually shoot through the pistol here without hurting them. So don't aim for the gun. Confirmed. Next up, can you jump your drone over a jammer. So there we go, we've got Pyrites putting a jammer down and bingo. 
straight over. Nice, simple, confirmed. So this one is back with the grenades. Now, can you shoot a grenade before it detonates to actually stop it detonating? And the answer appears to be no. So I tried there with the assault rifle. And I'm going to try again with the pistol. I'm definitely getting them at least one bullet on target. So, no. Busted. You cannot shoot grenades. So, Ash's breaching charge gun. Can it destroy cover? Like, if someone's hiding behind something, can you blow it up? And yes. If that piece of furniture is destructible, it totally works. And what's interesting, it will also work on deployable shields, which is extremely useful. If you want to get someone out of a corner, you know, they're hiding in the corner with a breachable shield, you can do some serious damage. So that one is confirmed. Next up. This one I, I kind of thought about myself and I thought, I wonder if this, one of the grenades that come out of Fusey's grenade launcher or cluster, cluster launcher, I think it's called something like that. I wondered if they'd actually hurt you if they physically hit you, but not, you know, not from the detonation, but the actual physical hit. And it appears not. So I'm going to try one more time. And I find this one interesting because you can actually see how there's a pattern when they're released. So I'm just going to slap it up in the wall here. And pop back outside. And stand a bit further back this time. So I'm going to slow this down. So you can see when it is detonated, you can see one puck, we're going to call them pucks, that's the grenades, going off to the left straight away. Then a little bit after, another one goes off to the left at a slightly different angle. There's five in total. The next one goes straight. And it goes right through me. Doesn't damage me in the slightest. And then the next one goes off to the right. So if you're actually going to use this weapon, you should keep that in mind because you can actually pepper a whole corridor if you set it up correctly. Whereas if you set up another 90 degrees, you'll actually just pepper one area with it. So it's very handy to know how the grenades actually get launched. But anyway, that one is busted. So what happens if you shoot Ash's breaching charge at players? Does it actually detonate? And the answer is no. Interestingly though, you can see and she's breaching charge on the ground if you do it, if you shoot at a player. Which is awesome. I think that's amazing that you know it's actually modeled in game. Very, very good detail. So that one's confirmed. So next up, this is something I found by accident. And that is that a couch will actually completely protect you from an explosion. So if you have a look at this detonation here, you can actually see there's no shrapnel that's come flying off. And I'm thinking that's kind of weird. So I thought, okay, put another grenade down, and then I head behind the couch. Completely fine. So although you can actually shoot through couches, they're not bulletproof at all. They're, they're If you're hiding behind them, you can easily get killed by them. But apparently if a grenade comes at you, hide behind a couch, it'll actually protect you completely which is weird. And it even works with nitro cells. So, yeah, I don't, I don't even bother to lie down. I just crouch. I do manage to damage the hostage, but I'm alive. So that one's amazing. So now, can you jump higher with a drone by looking up? So this is an interesting one, because it's very tactically an advantage to get your drone higher. Because it's less likely the enemy will see it because they won't be looking up high. And you can. You can totally look up and you can jump higher. And it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to show you soon how you actually can get to get really cool places. But for a moment, we'll just see me jump around like a fool. 
but it is extremely useful once you know how to do it it's awesome so that one's confirmed and i'm going to show you how you can actually use it to your advantage so say you want to get into a bookshelf you totally can you can get yourself up on a shelf and the enemy might not even notice you're there and you can just keep scanning them all day and they might never notice but we're going to go even further than that so I'm going to show you how to get to some really cool places. So let's say they've set up in the master bedroom and you want to get your drone into a place where they're not going to be looking in the slightest. So what you can do is you can get a tail on top of this thing on the bed. Which you can do from one jump right there. And then you can go, okay, let's go up to the fan. And you totally can. You can get to the fan. It's amazing precision. Like You can see the whole room from up here. It's incredible. And I thought, I wonder if you can get to the moving fan. Yeah, it'd be kind of crazy if you could do that, all right. But I thought maybe you can. So I had a little drive up here, and I thought, all right, let's just get it. And yep, you totally can. The <laughs> moving van doesn't bug it at all. So I thought, wait, that can get over here. It's even better. So look at that. If you can get your drone up here, that is like the best spot because pretty much see the entire room, and you could scan all day, and the enemy probably wouldn't have a clue where you are. So uh, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe if you want to watch the next episode and leave any comments on any ideas you have for any other myths, anything you want tested, anything at all, leave a comment below, thanks for watching.